Okay, my question here is virtually identical to the top. It's just a one, one notch more difficult, okay? Your goal is to tell me what one of these squares is worth and what one of the triangles is worth. That's your goal, okay? So this is where, this is an important skill, so you need to like, we're gonna spend a bunch of time on this today, okay? Being able to find a particular variable uh, when you when it's in a system of two two equations, is uh, we need to know how to do that for a reason that I'll explain it to you later. This is just a skill right now, so you're just going to try and work on the skill to figure it out. Okay, so your goal again is what's a square worth and what's a triangle worth. So here are the steps. You're going to want to figure out or here I'll I'll use a different word. Isolate for one of the shapes. Okay. In one of the two equations, you can pick which one you want to use. Okay. You're going to probably want to pick the one that looks easiest. Right. I don't necessarily like this top one because I've got these coefficients sitting here. I don't really like that. And it, the seven doesn't look too good either. I don't really like that. Right, so I'm probably gonna pick the bottom one for the reason that I don't have well, I don't have I have a coefficient, but it's one, right? This one, the bottom one looks pretty easy, relative to the top. So that's the one that I'm gonna pick. Now, what you want to isolate for is completely up to you. Again, whether you not you want to isolate for a square or a triangle. Okay. So, I'm going to isolate for. The square okay so by isolate I mean uh, again get by itself right so just get something by itself so how do I get the square so square plus a triangle has to equal three I want to get the square by itself so I'm gonna take the triangle and I'm gonna move it to the other side to do that I'm gonna go minus a triangle from both sides Okay, so one square is going to equal three minus a triangle. Let's try it the right way. Okay, if anybody has any like concerns, like you can type them in the chat right now. Okay, well, what I did. This is important. You're gonna put a little box around this because that's important. You now have one of these things written by themselves, which is important. Okay. Okay, step two, now that you have one of these things written all by themselves, you can substitute back into the opposite equation. So by that I mean, I have a square sitting here, I've isolated it, right? What I want to do is find where there is a square, green... Yeah, we could probably get, uh, yeah, I'll put them down. <coughs> um, what I want to do is find, or s but we're going to use this word substitute again, find where the square is in the other equation, okay? Um, and we can plug it in there, okay? So I see a square there. What is the square worth? We just told everybody, or like we found, what the square was worth. It was three minus a triangle. Ian, if the if the Wi-Fi is not good right now, you don't have to worry about it, buddy. Okay, I'll I'll upload it and then when the Wi-Fi is better you can watch it again, okay? Just like you've been here, that's all that matters. Or if you've logged into D2L, that's all that matters too, okay? You don't have to burn through your data. Okay. I'll upload it. Okay. So does everybody see the two? I have a purple piece here, two purple pieces, and the or the squares are two squares, and the square is equal to the blue piece. 
or the three minus a triangle. So if it's equal to that, then why can't I not replace the square that's up top with the blue? Right? So this is what we mean by the word substitute. So substitute um, uh, this what one square. Okay, so I'm going to number these two equations too, just so it's clear. There's, there's equation one, okay, and here's equation two. Okay, so I'm going to substitute what one square is. So the square, again, I'll just highlight it just so we have colors. The square is where the blue piece, right? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rewrite the first equation, right? So step three will be rewrite. with the blue pleat blue piece substituted okay so I'm just gonna rewrite the first equation but instead of writing the purple piece I'm gonna write the blue piece instead this time right so two and then I'm gonna open a bracket because it's multiplying right two times three minus a triangle right the purple piece turned into the blue piece that was a square before right it was a square and it turned into the blue piece okay because because we just found it right here right and then you write the rest of it plus three triangles has to equal seven Okay, I no longer, in this little box here, I no longer see any squares. We've done that on purpose so that we can turn it into um, something where we can just solve for the triangle. Okay, so now we're at the stage where we're from before the break when I showed you guys how to do what we call the expansion. Right, or we did the table method too where we had like three minus a triangle um, with the two and then we filled in the middle with multiplication so we got six minus two triangles that's the the red piece here so I'm gonna get six minus two triangles okay pull back the black here so you can see plus three triangles has to equal seven okay all you're doing now, this is a linear system of equations that, you, that you've already seen how to do. All you want to do is get the triangle by itself. Because what is one triangle worth? Right, that's what we're trying to find. So you're just going to move things around, right? So I'm going to take, I'm going to try and get the numbers on one side and the triangles on the other. And then solve for what one triangle is worth. So if I take... The six and I move it to the other side that means I'm gonna to have to subtract six from both sides right so minus six minus six so my next line is gonna look like this negative two triangle plus three triangles is equal to seven minus six and then you just do the math you're just like typing things into a calculator at this point right so you're just gonna go okay uh, how do I do the negative? 2 negative plus 3. Oh, that's one triangle. That was the left side. So one triangle is equal to 7 minus 6. 1. So one triangle is equal to 1. Okay. Now you're going to go back. Because you found what one triangle is worth, but you want to know 
what a square is worth as well. But here's the convenient piece. You have something on your page already that allows you to solve for what one square is worth because you've already written it out. One square was equal to a three minus a triangle. Right? You guys already did the work for this part. This is the easy part now. So if one triangle is equal to one, then you're going to take this equation that you developed earlier. One square is equal to three minus a triangle. Okay, because that's what that equation in that box is telling me. Right? So then you just take the value well, one triangle is equal to one. So a square is equal to three minus one. A square is equal to two. There are your two answers. Okay. Does anybody have any like burning questions? That's a lot. It's a lot. Okay. I'll try to write some more steps here. Um, so step four will say find uh, okay I'll get rid of this box so that I have more room and step five is use what one triangle okay So here are your two answers. I'll highlight them. Square is worth two. And we'll say the triangle is okay.